All right, fam. So we are back at it again with another crazy video. Now today, whoo, this one gonna be good, boy. This right here is gonna be good. Okay, so we got Don Lemon gets shut down by Morgan Freedom. I mean, I said freedom. Wow, that is crazy. By Morgan Freeman over racism and wealth inequality. So we finna go ahead and get straight into this video, man. Hit the like button, subscribe to our post notifications. Follow your boy on all social media platforms down below. Without further ado, let's get it, let's go. Do you think that race plays a part in wealth dis distribution or either a mindset that you can't Today? or cannot? Yeah. No. That's Morgan Freeman refusing to accept Don Lemon's race bait. You don't? No, I don't. I don't. You and I, we're proof. Why would race have anything to do with it? Stick your, put your mind to what you want to do and go for that. Uh, it's kind of like religion to me. It's a good excuse for not getting there. Yeah. You know, I said, and it's probably getting me in trouble, but I said to some of my colleagues recently, and so I know that it's an issue, but I've been, it seems like every single day on television I'm talking about race and it's because of the news cycle, it's in the news, but I'm so, sometimes I get so tired of talking about it, I wanna, I wanna just go, this is over, can we move on? And, and, and if you talk about it, it exists. Right. Yeah. It's not like it exists and we refuse to talk about it, but making it a bigger issue than it needs to be is the problem we have. I don't think wealth and, and genetics have anything to do with each other, actually. Um, if you're born in the U.S., it really doesn't matter uh, the condition of your birth. Mm -hmm. What matters is what you inherit from your nurturing, from your environment, uh, whether or not you're going, if you, I mean, I'm just as, from the standpoint of having been born with little. Uh, Bro, I love, I'm, I'm sorry, I had to pause. I, ha I had to pause, okay? But I love what he just said. Look, you, you're being, you being born in America as a black man, Okay, like personally, I don't think this is I don't think you being born in America as a black man is going to stop you from achieving anything. I'm sorry. I just don't. I feel like a lot of black people or just not even black people, bro, just a lot of humans. They make excuses for not achieving their goals that they want to achieve in life. They find things that can that that can justify their justify their uh, lifestyle and the way they want to live, so they won't achieve what they truly want to achieve. You see what I'm saying? Like I just believe that everyone they they have some type of excuse. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't make an excuse about my skin color in America. Like oh man, I'm a black man. Oh, it's gonna take me longer. I, I don't make excuse about any of that, bro. It's like. If you was born and raised in an environment that wasn't as that wasn't the best environment, it wasn't the wealthiest environment, it wasn't the the cleanest environment. I always tell people that's my age or even older, you do not have to be like your environment. I'm sorry, you just don't. I believe everything in life is a choice. You choose where you want to go in life. You don't have to be like your environment. The problem with people is that they they grow up in the environment and they stay in the environment because they feel like this is all that they know. But it's more out there. The more the the moment you start to to change your mind and renew your mind and you start to actually get yourself out there you will start to see that it's more to life than just the environment that you came up in you don't for my for my people that are black you do not to make it out the hood you do not have to to be a basketball player or or um or what's the other one be a rapper like you don't like that's just a stereotypical thing bro you don't have to be an nba player or a football player or any type of sports athlete or you don't have to do a or be a rapper or a singer like you don't it's more to it you know what i'm saying it's more to it it's more to to life than that now if that's something that you choose to if that's something that you choose to do and that's something that you truly want to do with your life go for it by all means go for it but know that you do not have to stay in your environment every nothing in life is based off the the skin the the uh your race like no you know what i'm saying it may take you uh two three four five six seven years to get there you know what I'm saying? But that's not because, oh, you're black, so it's going to take you longer. Like, no, bro. Everybody has to work hard for their success. You know what I'm saying? Success is not just given, bro. It's actually earned. And people that are white, a lot of them had to work hard to get to that place. You know what I'm saying? The difference between white people and black people is that, and, and this is and this is just my opinion. Maybe this is not even a fact. I don't know the statistics on this. But from what I know or from what I see, I see that it's a lot of white people who... They create generational wealth for the next generation. You know what I'm saying? They, they don't think about self. 
you know, they always thinking about the next generation that comes after them. So their parents created, and this is not every white person, but majority, I believe that a lot of the white parents that are rich and successful, they worked hard and then they passed that generational wealth on to their kids. Now their kids see that and they're going to pass that generational wealth on to their kids. It's always a generational thing. They always look out for the next generation. And black folks, it's like, we don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Everything is about I, 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 I got to do this. I got to do that. We're not even thinking about our future kids. We're not even thinking about our grandbabies. We're just thinking about self, 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 self. And then we say, oh, it's because we're black in America. So that's why we're not wealthy. That's why we're staying in the hood. No, it's because you chose to stay in the hood. You can get out the hood. You just chose to stay there because that's all you've seen. But you, but you can go out into the world and you know that there is more, there's more states, there's more countries to visit. There's more to do than stand right there where you're at. I just want to say that, but man, shout out to Morgan Freeman, bro. That, that, that was, that was right there. That I'll be trying to tell people that for the longest, bro. And I get so much backlash for it. Is what you inherit from your nurturing, from your environment, uh, whether or not you go, if you, I mean, I'm just as from the standpoint of having been born with little, uh, you can hear, you can always get out of that. Poverty is just what environment thing. effects. Yeah. If say you're born uh, as one of the untouchables in India, mm -hmm. there you are. And if you're born into the super rich, there you are. Here, you can be born to the super rich, but three, four generations down the line, it's gone. Mm -hmm. I was born in Memphis, Tennessee. Um, I had a long haul uh, from where I came from to here, but here we are. Right. So proof is in, the proof of the pudding is in the eating, and here we sit at the dining table. But it's hard to, when you say that to some people, because they say, oh, there you go with a pull yourself up by the bootstraps thing, and you know, you're just being respectable. Not everybody can do that. Well, everybody can. Everybody doesn't, courage, courage is the key to life itself. There are a lot of people who are born in situations where they say, well, I just, I'll never get out of this. So they won't. Right. Uh, I say to people who say, well, I, I would like to have done so and so and so. So well, you could have done it. Mm -hmm. So, well, I couldn't get out of here. Well, man, the bus runs every day. <laughs> <laughs> This is an older video, but I think it's still relevant today. I just found it so refreshing to hear Morgan Freeman challenge the race-based narrative, especially with a race-baiting queen such as Don Lemon. He highlighted that individual empowerment along with hard work and determination are the keys to success here in the United States, especially in this day and age. Do you agree with his perspective? Be sure to let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Shout out to Insightful uh, Report. You know what I'm saying? now. My, my views on this whole entire situation is simply like this. I, I truly believe that, like I, I say this multiple times, and I will continue to say it. I don't look at race when it comes to anything. And the fact that he even said that when you start to say in your, when you start to say out your mouth that you can't do something, or when you start to say, I'm oppressed. Like, do y'all not understand that? See, this is the thing when, this is the thing with faith. And why I believe in what I believe is because I know a lot of people use religion to, to make excuses for themselves to not get up and do the work. But when you actually read the Bible for yourself, God wants you to get up and do the work. He's not just sitting there like, yeah, do this and do. Yeah. And, and, and just give, 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 give. Like he actually wants you to get up physically do the work he will give you the strength to do what it is he calls you to do but you have to go up you have to get up and do it and i mentioned i don't even know why i mentioned that. that that's crazy i don't know why i just mentioned that it was a reason why i mentioned that maybe it'll come back to me but what i was trying to say was the fact that i i personally i personally believe that when people are saying the words out their mouth that's why i mentioned it thank you okay so the bible tells us that life and death lies in the power of the tongue. So when you are saying out your mouth, oh, I can't get up out of the situation, or I can't get up out of my environment, you can say all day long that some people can't do it. Some, bro, yes, you can. Yes, you can. That's like, t that's, bro, I, I, I swear, that's like an obese person telling me, oh, I can't go to the gym. Yes, you can. You just choose not to do it. If you if you sit there and tell me that you can't be successful because of the skin, because the color of your skin, 
I just look at you like a person that make excuses, bro. All you do in your entire life is you just make excuses. You can't tell me you can't be successful because of your skin. Because if God has a plan for you, I'm sorry, but can no human being stop that plan for your life? But guess what? God will show you the plan he has for you. He will, t he will give you the insight of the plan he has for you. He will tell you the plan he has for you, but it's up to you to go after that plan and trust that he will give you the strength to be able to conquer that plan that he has for you. But a lot of people sit there and make excuses. Life and death lies in the power of the tongue. You continue to tell yourself you're oppressed, you're going to be oppressed. You tell yourself that you ain't going to make it in life because it's the color of your skin, that's what's going to happen. So at the end of the day, you as an individual have to learn how to transform your mind. The Bible tells us to renew the mind. Mind. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. You have to transform your mind, bro. You cannot sit there in the battlefield in your mind thinking that you can't do something because that's what society is telling you. Forget what society is telling you. At the end of the day, you are a human being and you can get up off your butt and you can go do what God is calling you to do. That That's what people need to understand. Man, Morgan Freeman is a, a man of wisdom, bro. A man of wisdom. And I haven't heard a lot of speeches from Morgan Freeman. I truly haven't. You know what I'm saying? But I want to start actually hearing speeches from Morgan Freeman because he's a wise man. You know what I'm saying? And so many people need to hear these messages. And they and again and then again, if you are a black American and you're going against this, going against every word that I'm saying, I just want you to know right now that all you're doing is making excuses, trying to justify why you can't get up and do what it is that you want to do. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. I promise you, if I would have stayed consistent from 2021 until now, I wouldn't be working a regular job right now. I probably would be doing this full time, be traveling the world and be doing what it is that I love to do. But I personally didn't stay consistent. It's not because I'm black. No, I just didn't stay consistent, and I didn't just keep on the path that God had me on in 2021. If I would have stayed on that path, I promise you I wouldn't be working a regular job right now. I would be doing YouTube full-time, be having a whole bunch of sponsors. Be, I'd be, I probably been living a life. You know what I'm saying? been living a life right now, but I chose to not be consistent. Keyword, I chose not to. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to blame it on my environment. I'm not going to blame it on my friends. I'm not going to blame it on none because you choose your friends you want to hang around. You choose what you want to eat today. You choose everything in this life. You know what I'm saying? So, again, everything in life is your choice. So, it's either you go get up and you go do it or you go keep making excuses, telling yourself you're oppressed, telling yourself that you can't do nothing because you're black, telling yourself that you'll never be this, telling yourself, like, stop tearing down yourself. And black people, stop tearing down other black people telling them that they won't be able to do nothing in life because of the color of their skin. Stop tearing them down. Anyways, man, y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below. Hit the like button, subscribe to my post notifications, be your boy, The Pen. I love each and every one of y'all. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.